Sometimes a trap doesn't need to deal damage to hurt your players. Sometimes what really hurts is taking your player's gold. This trap is simple, effective, and easy to place and use. Jewels are exciting finds for players since they're valuable and very rarely have any downsides. Well, that all changes here. These jewels are nestled among other pieces of treasure or are on their own and meant to be taken easily. Once procured, the jewels themselves give off either a liquid, gas, or magical aura that corrodes and destroys gold over time. The players may go on a long adventure before ever discovering that they have made themselves penniless. These fake jewels that cause gold to disappear will make your adventurers think twice about mindlessly looting in the future. This trap should follow these two rules. Number one, perception. The trap should be one where the jewels look normal on a cursory glance, but someone could appraise them and find out that they are indeed fake. This DC should be high. The next time someone checks their treasure, it should be immediately obvious what is happening, and the loss of gold should be proportional to the amount of time that has passed since the jewels were picked up. The second rule concerns triggering and disarming. There is no disarming these beyond leaving them alone. If they are disturbed in any way, they're set off and their effects happen slowly over time. If you find them with other gold but leave them and come back later, the gold may be destroyed as the jewels effects go off with even the slightest jostling. These little gold eaters have a ton of great uses. Thematically, they're fantastic when put in a dragon horde or near the entrance to a treasure room. Intelligent creatures may keep them around to spite thieves that would steal from them. These jewels can be used as teaching items. When first introduced as a concept, they can help your players understand the type of downsides that can come with greedily hoarding treasure. If they keep all their wealth on them all the time, this can show them that they may be better off finding a bank or safe to store their goods. More constructively, these are a good signal to players that treasure may not always be what it seems, and can be an indicator that treasure can contain curses or traps. One interesting thing about this trap is that it only destroys gold. If the players have platinum, silver, or copper pieces, those coins are unaffected. This in itself can lead your players to visit a money changer to get weighty gold converted into platinum pieces. We advise that you don't do this to new or inexperienced players. It's rude when you're just starting out and don't have the background for when magical items can go wrong. This trap becomes more usable when it doesn't cause your players to become completely broke all at once. Also, if your group uses a single player as the gold mule or treasurer, don't use this trap. Having a whole party lose all their money at once, while possibly very funny to you, is not fun for the whole group. A lot of players save up for big purchases, and gold is an important part of the progression system. Sometimes it's nice to sneak in a cheeky trap like this to remind everyone that they can never be too cautious in the world of D&D. This trap might be just the reminder that your players need to curb their greedy habits and get back on the straight and narrow because there are plenty of ways to attack your players that don't rely on physical damage. If you're interested in more trap ideas, check out our other videos. You can find more resources at masterthedungeon.com. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe or consider supporting us on Patreon. Happy DMing!